Hey everyone, recently I've been organizing a few of my crafting boxes and I found this breakfast journal. I made this breakfast journal a couple of years ago and I showed half of it in a video and I never ended up showing the second half so I thought I'd show you a couple of pages in the second half of the breakfast journal and then I'll be showing you the first half at the end of the video so stay tuned to see that. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner is notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to comment down below if you've ever owned a breakfast journal. They're so much fun because there's different activities on each page and it's totally creative because you can style it however you'd like. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of the pages. So this page says trace things in your bag or pockets, let the lines overlap. So there are a few coins in my pocket, obviously. There is a dollar coin, 10 cent coin, 20 cent coin, and two dollar coin. And this is in Australian money, in case if you're wondering. And then there's a five dollar note here. So I tried to recreate the picture that's on the front of the five dollar note. And then over here we have a gift card and that's for a department store called Myers. Then we also have some gum. So I obviously traced the gum first over on the back before I did the note over on the front. Then we also have an iPhone over here, and then it says the 25th of December on it, and we also have the little camera sign, and there's a really interesting background too. There's also another 50 cent coin over here, and this item is an EOS lip balm, and it looks like it's some sort of berry flavored because it's blue. This page says cover this page with white things. So what I did was I got some tissue and I added it over to the bottom. Then I added some smaller tissue pieces over on the top to make it look like it was snowing like a winter wonderland. Then added some white out onto the tree so you can see there's some trees featured on the front with the snow on the bottom. This activity says scribble wildly only using borrowed pens and document where they're borrowed from. I obviously didn't write where I borrowed them from, but I did borrow them from some friends and they're so wildly scribbled everywhere across both pages. It's really interesting. I love the blue and the purple together. It's very stylish. So these two pages is collect the stamps off of your mail. So I have a few different stamps here. This is of Australia Wildlife, and then this one also says Australia too. What's interesting about these stamps over here is a popular kids cartoon is Bananas in Pajamas. So we have a few different banana and pajama stamps over here. These ones are really pretty. They're like balloons or polka dots, but I love these ones. I think they're so adorable, and there's a whole collection here. This page is really interesting. I'm actually quite surprised of what I did here because I did do this journal a couple of years ago. So we're looking back to see what I did. So it's make a mess and clean it up. On this side, I made a mess of different letters and numbers. And on this side, I cleaned it up. So I did the alphabet and then the numbers from one to 20, but you can see it's all messy over here. And then we have it all organized on this side. This page is really cute. So it's all themed to Disney. It says page of good thoughts. So we have three different Disney movies here, Lion King, Frozen, and then this one is Pixar, Toy Story, but it's owned by Disney. So we're going to say it's Disney. And we have different inspirational quotes here from Walt Disney as well. My favorite is to infinity and beyond and you've got a friend in me from Toy Story and I love the little silhouette drawing on the side. So we have Simba from Lion King, Olaf from Frozen. Then we have Woody and Jesse over here from Toy Story. This page is make prints using an ink pad and cut vegetables. So I did get an ink pad and I got capskin or it's also known as bell peppers as well. So what you're meant to do is meant to cut it and then put it on the ink pad and then spread it throughout. So you can kind of see the little capskin design on the side here and it also is on this page too. So this page is ask a friend to do something destructive to this page and don't look. So I handed the book over to my friend and this is what she ended up doing. I gave her some markers and I told her she could do whatever she wants, but she just basically colored in the whole page. So this was completely her idea. So I'm not sure what she had in mind, but she did do something destructive. She made it very chaotic. So this activity page, from what I can see over here, because I did write a lot over here, it says write carelessly now. So what I did was I wrote carelessly a lot on both pages. So on this side, the words are really big. It says carelessly everywhere. And on this side, it's really small, but you can see it's very cluttered. I wrote carelessly definitely a lot of times. So I definitely followed the instruction on these pages. So this page says tear this page out, put it in your pocket, put it through the wash and stick it back in. So that's what I did. You can see it's quite creased here. So I must have put it in and it's taped. So it's back into the journal, which is really great. Then we also have this one. It says cut through several layers. So what I did was I got a hole punch and I cut through several different layers. So there's a few. So there's three different pages I ended up punching through. But we'll take a look at the next page. It says infuse this page with a smell of your choosing. So I added perfume onto it and I drew like a cloud design over on this side. And then we added different perfume bottles to it. So this says Daisy Mark Jacobs. There's a Vera Wang one, there's a Chanel one and a Prada one. My favorite definitely has to be the Daisy bottle. It's so pretty. I love the Daisy flowers on the front. And I think this is a really great theme for this page. 
This instruction says connect the dots, close your eyes from memory. So what I did was I got a green pen and I traced it. I managed to do a pretty good job in connecting all the dots together. And because I did the green pen, I thought it'd be nice to do a flower design. And I also was inspired by the perfume bottle on this page. So I did little sunflowers. I think it's so pretty. I love how this turned out because we already had the circles there. So that was the middle of the flower. So once I drew the flower design, I just did a blue background so that the flowers be the main focus of the page. This page says collect your pocket lint and glue it here. So I spread it into smaller pieces and I just add it onto the page, but I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I taped it down so you can see that it's not colored in around it because I added the tape onto it. And I thought that they looked like thunderstorm clouds. So that's what I did. I did it like it was a city and it was raining. So we have the raindrops with the lightning strikes. We added the blue and I love the city background on the bottom. This one says trace your hand. So what I did was I placed my hand down and I just traced it over and then I colored it in. So we have green, pink, and blue and I just added it throughout and that's just across both pages. So we have six different drawings of my hand. So this does say draw with glue and I think I ended up using white out instead of glue. So I didn't really follow the instructions too clearly on this one, but I definitely added a lot of white out. So you can see the white outs all across here and so are the polka dots. I also traced the flowers here as well and I just added a few different marker designs as well. This one says write or draw with your left hand. So this was really tricky because I am right-handed, so it was quite hard to try and draw, but I went with the Despicable Me theme, which I love. So I did a minion over on this side and I wrote banana over here because minions love bananas. Then over on this side, I did the classic unicorn and the Despicable Me movies. And it says it's so fluffy, pink fluffy unicorn. And I think I did a pretty good job considering I am right-handed. There's a lot of detail to it and they do look like the actual characters. They don't look really strange where you can actually tell that they're meant to be the characters from Despicable Me. This page says find a way to wear the journal. So I added some outfit designs over on the side here, a t-shirt, a pair of pants, there's a dress, a hat, some sunglasses, and a scarf as well. I'm not exactly sure how I found a way to wear the journal. I must have, but it was a few years ago. This activity says create a non-stop line. So it's meant to start here and it's meant to stop there. So that was already written on the actual page. So I just colored those in really bright and colorful, a bright red so you could see them. And then I did a non-stop line and it definitely is a really small line. I just did a lot of little ones everywhere and it's non-stop, it's continuous. So it goes down here and across. This definitely took a while. I definitely remember doing this, but it is a non-stop line and it goes from start to stop. This page says glue in a page from a magazine and circle words you like. So obviously I found a food magazine somewhere because I added different recipes. So we have this one over here, Malaysian prawn laksa. Then we also have a quinoa porridge with coconut water and pears. There's a brie and pastry. Then we also have pork and fennel sausage bites. And I added different pictures of some of the food items that match some of the recipes. And obviously what I circled were the food items because that's what I love. So we have the prawn laksa, the porridge, the pastry, and the sausage rolls as well. All of them look really great. I'll definitely have to try out one of these recipes one day. This page talks about document time passing. So on this side, we have January through November. And I was wondering where December was. And I realized this was actually December over on the front here. But there's some stickers add on to April, May and December. And I'm not exactly sure why I did that. But we also have days of the week over by the bottom here. And that's definitely time passing. So I thought these little craft sheets were perfect for this page. This page says this space is dedicated to internal monologue. So when I purchased some of the crafting items for the journal, I also purchased these little quote sets and I thought it'd be perfect to add them over onto this page. And there's some yellow and pink paint over on the back. And the reason why I added it was to add a bit of color onto the page, but also I was hoping that these items would stick because as you can see, the tape isn't really holding it down, but it seems to have done a good job in keeping it in place. Two shows I was watching at the time when I was making the Reckless Journal was Gossip Girl and Pretty Little Liar. So I added different characters and quotes from those shows. We also have different phones here. So this one's about Gossip Girl and this one is about A from Pretty Little Liars. So it says hide a secret message somewhere in this book. So I must have hid a secret message somewhere. I'm not exactly sure, but Gossip Girl and A are a secret. You don't know who they were on the show. So I thought that'd be the perfect theming for this page. And then on this side it says New York, the city that never sleeps. We have a city background and it's a night sky and I think I added white out for the star design on the page. I love this page so much. It's so interesting and I love how I picked Pretty Little Liars and Gossip Girl as they're both themed to secrets. This page says sleep with the journal, describe the experience here. So I drew a bed scene and we also have the white out as the star design. So I definitely recommend grabbing some white out if you want to make some sort of star design. It looks really pretty and I used it quite a bit throughout the journal. We have a moon over here and I think I drew that with white out as well. And then we have a dreaming little sign over here, which is the sun. I didn't actually document my sleep experience here, but I did do a drawing of sleeping. 
This page over here says write a list of more ways to wreck this journal. I wrote 12 different ideas on top of the ones that they already have in the journal. But one of the ones I found really interesting that I added was use a page as if it's your calendar. I love that idea. So you can write out different ideas you have throughout the day, different schedules and appointments. So you just basically have it as if you're filling out your calendar. And then over on this side, the page was blank. So I added some stamps. There's a flower. There's also a butterfly, a star and a heart too. This page is called Stain Log. So what I did was I had quite a few different nail polish bottles and I added the different nail polish colors to each of the squares. And these squares were already drawn out, which is why there are a few extra. So these polka dot ones was that I ran out of nail polish bottles. So I just added a little design over there. I kind of wish I added these two here and then I had the polka dot design on the bottom. So be more organized, but that's perfectly fine. I do love this idea. So I wrote the name of each nail polish underneath it. So we have Rich Rose over here lava over here. If I were to pick any of these colors, I would pick the rich rose. It's so pretty. It's a gorgeous blush pink color. Then I added a flower design over here and I actually painted it with the nail polish, which I find so interesting. So it matches the stain log theming. This flower is so gorgeous. We also have this one, which is bright and colorful too. This page says rub this page on a dirty surface. I must have gone out to the garden and rubbed it all in the mud everywhere because this is definitely a really dirty page and you can see my hands are quite covered as well from the dirt. So it's definitely lasted because I definitely did this quite a few years ago. This page is collecting a letter. So you're meant to collect the letter W. So this was the W that was already on the page itself and I managed to get quite a few different W's. It's very impressive. So there's some really tiny ones over here. There's some larger ones that definitely take up a lot of space and there's so many different fonts too. I love the font of this one. This one's very fancy. We also have some really tiny ones right at the bottom here as well. This page says drum on this page with pencils. So we have a pencil design over here that was already drawn on. I didn't draw that on the page itself, but what I did was I drummed different color pencils on this page. So you can see that they're all very bright and colorful. And then on this side, I did markers. This page says roll the journal down a large hill. So I must have rolled it down a large hill, but I started decorating this page, but I didn't quite finish it. So on this side, I decorated the hill because the hill would have already been there on the actual journal itself. But I added the green with the designs on it to make it look like grass. But I definitely could have added some sort of blue or sky design over on the other side. This page talks about selling this page. Obviously I didn't sell the page, I kept it in the journal, but when you talk about selling and buying when it comes to games, Monopoly definitely comes in mind. So I actually drew out a Monopoly board. This definitely took quite a while and I'm really proud of how it ended up turning out. So I added the different properties over on the side. You have the community chest, the chance, free parking, the go over on this side. I love the detail of it so much. It looks so realistic as well. I added all the different prices over by the bottom here. I'm so happy with how this page turned out. So be sure to watch the video to see the rest of the journal. So I did show the first half of the journal a couple of years ago. This was one of the pages that was featured in the first half. So it says tear strips and rip it up. So I had different book ideas I thought I would add onto the strips. So we have the Hunger Games, Harry Potter, Throne of Glass, Bolt and Mouse Stars, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief and Divergence. Those were some of the books I was reading at the time. And then over on the bottom, it's just completely blank. I made it kind of look like a bookshelf. And then because of the book theme, I added some Harry Potter drawings over on this side with Harry Potter, with a little witch's hat. We also have platform nine and three quarters and a few other details as well. So be sure to watch the rest of the video to see what the rest of the journal looks like. Here we have the cover. So I bought all of these stickers from a stationery store, but there weren't really any pages to use them and you did have to decorate the front. So I decided to use it here and they're all traveling theme, which is so cool. This one says go travel and then this one's a Paris sticker, New York sticker. And then it says those, not all those who wonder are lost. And I love this sticker on the front here. It says caution contents might be boring. I think that was really cool to stick on the front too. Here we have the first page. It's pretty simple. I didn't really want to do that much, but I bought these really cool shell stamps that I wanted to use. And there weren't really any pages that I used them for. So I decided to just use it on the front. And I colored this in yellow, the wreck this journal. And let's turn over to the next page. This page I left blank, but this one here, I just colored it in. There weren't really any instructions for the first couple pages at least. So I colored this part purple and this part orange. And let's turn over. So here is the first page. You have to write this book belongs to. So I just wrote my channel name, AJOSF. So this book belongs to AJOSF and then you have to write your name in white. So I decided to use white out. And then this one allegedly, so I kind of did writing, writing. This one in really tiny letters, this one backwards, and this one really faintly, but I was writing it with a marker so you can still see it really clearly, but I didn't push as hard. This one really large letters, but obviously I didn't write my address. This side I just did really cool patterns, so I kind of followed the coloring in, so I did yellow, pink, yellow, pink, green, pink, so that's what I did on this side too. 
This page is the instructions page, so you can't really do too much with this page either, but I really like how it turned out. I just colored it blue, and then I put blue polka dots in different sizes everywhere, so I think that looked pretty fun. And then the instructions are on this side. Obviously, I didn't color it in, so you're still able to see the instructions. And then let's turn over. And then here we have the materials, and this page says add your own page numbers. I still haven't done that yet. I'll go back and add the page numbers later on, but I think that will take quite a while, so I've left that out for now. So let's turn over to the first official page. So this is the first official page. It says crack the spine and then this one's leave this page blank on purpose. So obviously I left it blank, but on this side I saw it online like someone had a huge hole and then they did cracks everywhere. So that's what I kind of did. I saw other people do like cracks like that where they actually drew a spine and I'm not that artistically creative so I just stuck with this. So let's turn over to the next page. And this is what I call my Bailey page. So Bailey is my dog, if you don't know. And this instruction here says, stand here, wipe your feet, jump up and down. And Bailey was digging in the garden, had dirt all over his feet. So I got him to step onto my page and that's all of his like footprints or his feet all over the page. So that's why it's kind of like a little bit messy. So then I drew like a really cute little beach scene with his paw prints here. And then we've got the water and the sky. So I think this page turned out pretty cute. Moving right along to this page, the instruction for this double page here is pour, spill, drip, spit, fling your coffee here. So I don't drink coffee, so I didn't really get to do this page properly, but I kind of cheated. I just drew a coffee cup, but I think it turned out really cute. I did like little steam, and I colored it blue, and then I decided to do coffee beans on this side just so it wasn't completely plain, and I colored that brown as well. This page turned out all right. It could have been a lot better if I added more drawings up here, but I think it still turned out pretty cute. I used a bunch of Finding Dory and Finding Nemo characters because the instructions is poke holes in the page using a pencil. So when I think about holes, I think about bubbles like in the ocean kind of thing. So that's what I kind of did. I did Dory and Nemo and Marlin, and then I added all these like sea accessories and I wrote Finding Nemo up here. So let's turn over to the next page, and unfortunately there are a bunch of different holes on this side from the other page, but that's alright. So this instruction here says draw fat lines and thin pushing really hard with a pencil. So I decided to do little zebra or zebra stripes all along here, and I did it really hard with a pencil. But then on this side, I didn't really want to use a pencil, I decided to use a marker, and I just did straight lines with different like thickness to it, and it's all black. This page turned out interesting and not how I expected it to. So if you know Wreck This Journal, there's a ton of circles here and you're meant to fling like paint or anything like that and there's meant to be dots and splatters everywhere. And that's what I did. I like squirt the paint bottle with different dots. I think it turned out really cool, but I was waiting for ages for it to dry and it never did. So I decided to fold the page over. When I opened it up, the paint just went everywhere on both pages. I think it turned out pretty fun, but it definitely wasn't the instruction they told me to do but that's perfectly fine. I love how there's the purple everywhere and then the green and the blue just kind of blended in together. So let's turn over to this page. This one says press leaves and other found things. I tried to press them down and stick it but it didn't really stay so a lot of it kind of just fell down on the side but these pieces kind of worked out really well. I just went out to the garden and picked up a couple of dead leaves and things like that and used glue and pushed it down and some of it did stay though. And then on this side, I thought it'd be cool to do a drawing of different types of leaves. And then there was this really cool design showing all these different types. So I wrote the names up here, except when I was doing the paint on this side, it kind of got ruined. So I had to retrace it over, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Here we have another page and this instruction here says scratch using a sharp object and I kept using different things like keys and coins and nothing would work. In the end I tried to draw a flower but it kind of just went through the, to the other page so I left it like it is. And then on this side I did really cool zigzags and dots with green and yellow markers. So let's turn over because this isn't that interesting. This was really fun. This one is do some rubbings with a pencil. So I used colored pencils on this side and just a regular pencil and I used coins. So in Australia we have 50 cent coins, $2 coins, and $1. Those are the coins that I used for this at least. And you can see it turned out pretty cool. You can see it says 50 here and $1 and $2. So you can see it definitely worked. And if you have this page blank and you write this journal, I definitely recommend using coins because they're great rubbings and it definitely does turn out. 
The next page we'll be taking a look at is this one right here. It's called Scribble Wildly, Violently, and Reckless Abandon. This was the most fun page to do, definitely. And once I did this page, a couple of other pages I did scribbling because it was so much fun. So I just got my pens and I just scribbled it out and I just used so many different colors and it was so much fun and you just see it's filled up with so many colors. And then we can move along to this page. And I'm really happy with this page as well. I'm so glad with how it turned out. It took a really long time to do as well. So this page says tear strips and rip it up. So when I was looking at the strips, I'm like, they'd be really cool as like books. So I just did a ton of different sci-fi books. So The Hunger Games, Harry Potter, Throw in a Glass. And this one's kind of like a young adult book, The Fault in Our Stars, Percy Jackson, Divergent. And I love Percy Jackson. It's such a great series. So I ripped it up. And then the next page is glue staple tape these pages together so on the sides and up here it's stuck down except for obviously the strips which are open. So the instructions for this double page is draw lines while in motion the bus train while walking. So I did three different types. I did in the car, going up the stairs, and just casually walking. And I used four different colors. So with the stairs, I went up, down, up, down. And then in the car, I just did it regularly. And walking, I just walked up and down a hallway. And I used different colors. And as you can see, the latter was definitely the largest one. It had the most amount of movements. And the walking one was definitely the easiest. The longest page award would definitely have to go to this circle page. This took hours and hours and I didn't realize how long it would take, otherwise I'd probably do a complete different design. So I started off with this page and I did really tiny circles as zigzags and then once I started doing a couple of lines it was like half an hour and I'm like wow this is taking a really long time. So I gradually did bigger circles as I went down but this took a couple of hours by itself. And then I did some circles along here just so I wouldn't have to do as many. But then I ended up doing really tiny circles anyways. So it just took a crazy amount of time. And then here I was drinking off of like a coffee cup with like some hot water. So I decided to do circles with different colors. And I just did polka dots. So for example, this purple one, each purple circle has green. So then I would put green here, but then all the blue circles would have brown, so they'd just start to mix colors. Like this one, there are a ton of different colors, so I think that turned out pretty cool, and I kind of wish I did this page on this page as well. I think this turned out alright, but it just took way too long. This page was kind of gross, but I obviously had to follow the instructions of the breakfast journal. So this double page says, document your dinner, rub, smear, splatter your food, use this page as a napkin. So I had spaghetti and meatballs for dinner one night, and I decided to put the meat sauce on here. But I didn't really want to put it on both pages because it was kind of gross, but I did have to follow the instructions. So I just drew a drawing of spaghetti and meatballs, and I wrote it up here. Not a very good drawing, but I didn't really want to put the food all over my book. This page was originally one of my least favorite pages while I was working on it. I just used coloring pencils and I colored this whole thing blue. It was like that color, the whole thing across. And I didn't use markers or anything and it just didn't look very good. But what I did was I decided to erase the blue and I decided to put my marker and just trace everything so it would stand out more. And instead of using this blue, I colored it in with the marker and I think it turned out great. So basically, Bailey was hanging around my book and he was trying to get a hold of it. So I'm like, all right, you can chew it off. So he chewed this paper off and I got it out of his mouth straight away. He didn't like swallow the paper or anything. So he was the one who chewed on this page and he didn't swallow it. But I decided to put different edible things like cotton candy and donuts and cakes and everything looks really delicious. And I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm so glad that I changed it. This page has a ton of little pages inside of it. It's all in this little section. So this is contact paper, but I decided to use it as wrapping paper. So I know this instruction here says wrap something, but I needed to hold all of these extra activities. So I decided to just use it as a present kind of thing, just to hold everything into the book. And I think it turned out fine. And I had some extra bits of this, so I decided to use it as a little present. And when I think of wrapping something, I think of Christmas time. So I did a little Christmas scene, and I think it turned out pretty cute with like a little fireplace and a tree and candles, and it says, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. So let's take a look at what's in here. So this is the first page. It says, tear out crumple. I decided to use different recycling bins. There's yellow, green, red, and blue. And as you can see, it's all crumpled up and I just folded it away and I've put it down just so I don't lose it. So let's put that one away and hopefully it goes in. 
And then this is the next page. You had to make a paper airplane, and I love this design. It turned out really cool and fun, except the only thing is these dots took a while, so I decided to just do larger dots. Definitely don't do dots when you wreck this journal because you'll regret it. It takes a really long time. It does turn out really cool though. So that's just the paper airplane. And then of course you have to finish off with the funnel. So you're meant to make a funnel and you're meant to drink out of water. So I just used different colors of blue in there and I just did these dots. I think that turned out pretty cool. So let's just put that inside and this all holds it together. And I think this is such a good idea and I saw it online, someone did it and it all stays nice and secure so I don't lose anything. The next page instructs you to eat some colorful candy and then you have to lick the page. So it's kind of like tongue painting. So I had this blue candy and I kind of licked the page. It's kind of gross again, but you can see it's a really bright blue color. And then I just decided to do little hearts everywhere just to fill up the rest of the page. There's nothing too much, but this next page took a really long time as well. So what you have to do is you have to write one word over and over again. So I decided to write YouTube in the tiniest font and this took so long, as you can see. But what I liked about it is that I added the YouTube logo on both sides. You can see there's the red and then there's the white triangle here. And it just took a crazy amount of time. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. Obviously, I picked the word YouTube because I'm always on it and I love the website. This page turned out to be really fun and I really think it's quite cute. So this instructs saying, you have to tie a string to the spine of the book and swing wildly and let it hit the wall. So I did tie a piece of string. I have two strings together. There's the red one. There's also this greeny gold one and there's a bow on the bottom. I think that's really cute. So I did tie it and then I added a couple of extra strings because I bought a whole packet of ribbons and I didn't really want to waste them and I did want to do something on this page as well. So I decided to tie bows. So I added these along here. And then on this side, I just did bows. This side, I did a couple of double bows, but they took a really long time. So these last few, I just did single ones. And I think it turned out really cute. This page instructs you to pick up the journal without using your hands. And when I think of without using your hands, I think of magic. And when I was looking this up, a lot of people did Tinkerbell, and I thought that was such a great idea, but I thought I wouldn't copy anyone else in that way. So I was looking at potion bottles and I found these and I decided to copy the photo like that. And I think it turned out really fun. There's a ton of different potion designs and this one's got a heart, this one's got a leaf, so they all mean different things. And then I just did green crosses here and I traced it with this paintbrush pen and I used the color purple. I'm pretty sure the first page that I ever did in this book was the beach scene, the first one that I showed you guys right at the start, but this was the second one I did. So the instruction says climb up high and drop the journal. So I did climb up high and I did drop it, but I didn't want to leave it blank. So what I did was I thought of a really tall animal, so I went with a giraffe and I drew it eating like some leaves and I thought it was really cute. And then on this side I did like a cloud scene in the sky and I think it turned out pretty fun, especially since it was one of my first attempts with the journal. I wasn't too sure what to do with this page. It says compost this page and watch it deteriorate, which means you have to like put it in your garden and watch it kind of like shrivel up. But I didn't want to really ruin this drawing here, so I just decided to cover it in dirt. I know I kind of cheated here, but I thought I'd just leave it like so. So let's move along to a more interesting page. This page says do a really ugly drawing using ugly subject matters like gum, poo, dead things, a badly drawn bird, mold, barf, and crud. My friend really wanted to do this page, so she just decided to draw a bunch of poos pretty much with blue and purple paintbrush pens. So there's some really large ones and tiny ones. This one's pretty random, but she really wanted to do it, so I just let her have fun with it. This page instructs you to play sticky things here, honey, gum, syrup, glue, sucker, and marshmallow. And I didn't really have any sticky things, so I just decided to draw some of those things. So I did a chocolate, a sucker, and then I wrote candy on the bottom. I think this turned out really cute. I did a pot of honey, and I also did a gumball machine. So I'm really happy with this page. I'm not really happy with this page, so if I could just block it out and leave it like that, I would. But it's perfectly fine, and I created the journal like this, so I just have to leave it. And then let's turn to this page. And I am so happy. This would have to be one of my all-time favorite pages, even though it's not really an instruction. So this says, pretend you are doodling on the back of an envelope while you're on the phone. So I was talking to my friend on the phone. What I did was I originally started doing this design and I didn't like it, but then I started doing this design. I think it turned out pretty cool. So I just did it for the rest of it. And I kind of wish that I did this one all the way down. I think that would have turned out great, but that's perfectly fine. 
And this one, I just did a bunch of like lines all across and I colored it different bright colors and I love it so much and I think it turned out amazing. So this page is already ripped out because you're supposed to do it. It's called Journal Golf. It says you're meant to tear out the page, crumple it into a ball, and kick it through the book, and that's what I did. But I decided to stick it back in, and as you can see, it's all crumpled up, and I didn't really want to leave it completely blank, so I drew this really cool golf scene with wide out as like the little golf ball, and I think it turned out pretty cute. And on this side, it says make a paper chain. I haven't actually made it yet or cut it out, but I just did different designs and stripes and dots and everything with different colors, and that turned out pretty fun too. The instructions on this page says collect fruit stickers here and stickers you find on bought fruit. So I went into my fridge and I found three different types of fruits and vegetables that had stickers. So there are kiwi fruit, lemons, and also persimmon. And persimmon is the best fruit ever. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. And I didn't really have that many stickers, so I decided to just draw a bunch of different types of fruit. So I have pineapples and grapes and a fruit bowl here too. This page turned out to be really interesting, so the instruction was cover this page only using office supplies. And I found these really cool paper clips. They're like of bikes and little letters and hearts and stars. And I think that was really fun. I stuck this one in here. And then we have a bunch of different sticky notes. This one was shaped as in New York. It was like a New York design, and I thought that was so cool. And I just did a bunch of different drawings everywhere of office supplies too. So let's bring this across and I think this turned out really fun I'm really happy so this instruction here was bring this book in the shower with you I didn't actually bring it in the shower I just flicked water on it but it would have been as if I went in the shower anyways and it says I'm dancing in the mirror singing in the shower because that's the song I thought of when I thought of this instruction and I just did a bunch of blue dots and as you can see the water is on it and it kind of went across and I think that turned out so cool and then I just did a little shower head design on the top here too this page says, tie a string to the journal, go for a walk and drag it. So we have this string here, and as you can see, I did drag it so you can see that the ribbon's all frayed. But I have three different types of shoes here on this side, just so I wouldn't leave it completely blank. We have a flip-flop, a regular shoe, and then a Converse shoe here too. And you can see when I took it for a walk, all of these lines went across it, and that turned out pretty fun. So if we move along to this page, this took quite a while as well. So it says rub here with dirt. So on this page, I completely rubbed it with dirt and I rubbed it for dirt of half of it too. But when I thought of dirt, I thought about like a farm. So I decided to do a cute little farm scene and then we have like a barn and you can open it up and see all of the animals sleeping because it's meant to be nighttime. It kind of looks like daytime, but that's all right. So we can flip it down. You can see all the different animals sleeping because it's night. And I really like how I did this with all the flaps, otherwise it would have been pretty boring. This page turned out to be really pretty, so it says use this page as a test page for pens, paints, markers, or art supplies. So basically what I did was color pencils, markers, color pencils, pens, color pencils, another set of markers, kind of that, and I just did one on and one off. And it turned out really cool, colorful, bright, and I'm really happy with it. And I did a bunch of little polka dots on the side as well, so it wouldn't be completely blank. So let's turn over to this page and basically you're meant to just do a design on one page and then push it down and then open it up and it's meant to make a pattern and I'm not too sure what this pattern is it's just a bunch of different colored paints everywhere and it's really interesting it's not one of my favorite pages but it's just kind of there and completed so thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it